Do you have a car? If, if yes, yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys, today I will make a quick video about Volkswagen Golf Plus model from 2004 till 2014. To be more precise, uh, I will cover the Xenon headlights for this model. Basically, if you have a low beam failure or IFS uh, fault at your car, you will see which parts to replace. As stated, this, is, uh, this video applies to, uh, to entire range of Golf Plus models from 2004 and 2014, both for pre-facelift and the facelift models. The facelift models only has a shape difference. Basically, they are not interchangeable, but their Xenon system is same. So, let's start. The first thing that I have to tell you is that these headlights right now are stupidly expensive, very expensive, because they do not have any uh, practical replacement solution. If you look at your underneath your headlight, you will see that you have two uh, control units underneath your headlight. The first one is the IFS module, which is 4F0. 941 329 and the most important thing you have to pay attention is the letter c the golf plus models from 2004 till 2014 used only this ifs module uh, it is either in metal shape or later models from basically 2006 and 7 it becomes a plastic uh, one but both of them are same with the same part numbers, uh, Volkswagen part number on it, again ending with C. These two are interchangeable. If your IFS function is not working, the first thing that you have to check is your IFS module underneath your headlight. Most of the time, the IFS module is burn, burning due to the condensation, moisture or water ingress in your headlight. So basically, if you have a problematic headlight, it's always better to change entire headlight. Otherwise, you will keep replacing the IFS modules and the uh, ballast unit. The IFS function, if I have to summarize, here you can see the IFS me mechanism, is that when you are turning to the right or to the left, depending on your steering wheel position, your headlight projector is also turning to the right and to the left. And basically, this IFS, mainly this IFS module, commands your projector. This is for the IFS function. And next to the IFS module, you will see that you have a ballast unit, Xenon ballast unit. This one powers your D1S type Xenon bulb. Let me show you. Your Xenon bulb is D1S type. Basically, if you don't have a low beam, either your ballast unit or your, or your D1S type bulb is faulty. So, you have to check one of these uh, parts, given that all your wiring inside and the fuses are working. So, the, part, the ballast unit for your xenon light is Helamate, one of the most common ones. Five DV009000 middle line 00. This is the Hella part number, and the Volkswagen part number for this part is 5M0907391. This is one of the most common ballast units used at entire Xenon industry. You can find it, it from E60s, you can find uh, at some Mercedes models, you can find it from uh, Ford Galaxy models, uh, well, then you can find it Coupe Peugeot models and so on. It's very common 
ballast unit. So basically it doesn't have, doesn't need any coding when you are replacing it. It's a simple swap, just play and plug. As stated, if you don't have a low beam, you have to check your ballast unit or, or your D1S type xenon bulb. Let me show you how to replace also the your xenon bulb. Uh, let me also underline that in order to change your xenon bulb and the ballast unit or the IFS module, you have to remove entire headlight from the car. All other solutions are very risky and you are risking to break the headlight legs, your covers, which means that if you have any damage on your headlight, on the casing or whatever, you will have a condensation and then you will have uh, you will have faulty ballast and IFS module in the future. So basically removing the whole headlight from the car is the best solution, although it's time consuming. So in order to replace your xenon bulb, you just have to turn it counterclockwise, a quarter turn. Yes, a quarter turn and then you can take it out. Basically, if you remove the plug underneath, it will be easier to remove it and you will not be risking to break your xenon bulb. And again, the fitment is exactly the same. You, ha you have a bulb retainer here. First of all, you have to put the bulb retainer at the correct places. You will see, you will notice two notches there, here and the two notches on the bulb retainer, they should coincide. And then you have to lock it. Let me, let me, with one hand, this, that's all I can do. You have to estate it here. Now they are aligned and it's locked. And in order to replace it, you just have to put it again, observing the openings, you see the openings of your headlight projector and the leg, legs of the bulb retainer. And then you, you will just place the legs, legs here at the openings of the headlight projector and turn it quarter, quarter clockwise position. And that's all for boot replacement. And at the final stage, you have to put the boot, boot plug. Now, I guess, I guess that's all for the Golf Plus model Xenon headlight troubleshooting. As stated, this is your xenon, uh, xenon ballast and this is your IFS module. If you have a non-adaptive type uh, xenon headlight at your car, basically you will not have this module. It will be empty, it will be blind, you will not have this plug here. And you will only have, and you will only have uh, the ballast unit at your, underneath your headlight. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching guys. All the best. Bye for now.